Hello guys, in this video I will introduce the me mechanisms. Mechanisms, this is the uh, electrical to hydraulics mechanism. And in my second generation of the injection molding machines, the, my DIY one, uh, it used the, this type of mechanisms and it can provide a much more power than what the generation one that used the manual press here and some components I need to talk about first is this the manual hydraulic press this is a 5 tons hydraulic press that used in the in some vehicles, car vehicles for lifting up the vehicles and I disassembled this part the original ones have the let me show you here is the original one there's moving part here to press this piston here to pump the oil to raise up this large piston and it's five ton tons and this first mechanism and the second mechanism is here this is the lever arms and the sliding block and here this this circuit this will touch this one and this slide will constrain the motion here only vertically upward and downward and here this is the hinge point and this this it will be fixed this will be fixed this will be fixed on the platform And the first component is this mechanical mechanisms. The power units are used a uh, small circuit, this source, and this is a Makita 1200 1, watt here. And the original one is this smaller circular saw blade here. I think it's 4 inch I disassemble this part and also this part and I will not use them and mount the shaft on the pulley or pinion and it will provide this power and inside this is the gear chain and the output shaft go to this 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 circle this and here this P4 point I have different hole for my testing which one is the suitable or optimum one and this shaft will be will go through this hole and this arm as it is circular this rotate this arm will move linear uh, uh, this arm will be moved up and down and as well this mechanic this mechanism will be mounted on on the on this platform here same as the platform on these two unit and inside this mechanism there is the the first gear chain go through the tooth bell and then go through some reduction gear and and the 
funnel egg output to this circular disk and in the first step down gear here you can see a little bit difficult to see it here actually there is a clutch this fractional clutch here I installed this clutch here and this two tooth bell uh, pull on this uh, timing bell pulley and then the next gear here is a the next gear here is here and they are not fixed together instead there is a spring here and actually this timing bell pulley is not fixed on the next gear there are two abrasive surface between them and uh, as a frictional crutch and there is spring here it's difficult to see and as I rotate this large knob will make the spring compress and make the pressure between them small and at suitable position I will lock this knot with this small nut, nut and fix this position and why doing this because it was used in the injection molding machines and as this piston rise and go to the top level it was stuck at the positions and if it continued this this motor stop it will burn and too much current and instead there is crutch when when the piston at the utmost positions it will continue to rotate rotate and the and the clutch is is at a function at, at that point and now we will have time to stop the machine and another consideration is the gear ratio here what gear ratio it should be take and it, it all depends on your use, usage and in my injection molding machines this uh, first is the output force will be will, will be at, sorry the gear ratio will have the the effects on the output force and also the output velocities the higher the gear ratio the more the output force but the lower the output speeds and in my injection molding machines functions and working this this prison will rise and will will press down the punctures into the injection injection cylinder and inject the, the motor material out this rising stroke is fixed is almost a uh, six inch and and also the pressure is almost fixed is five ton tons and during its rising up this pressure will be slower lower than 5 ton at first and as as 
as equal to the maximum position, the final pressures will be 5 ton. And this parameter also is fixed. The one is not fixed is the speed. And in injections, this speed cannot be too slow, otherwise the motor material will be cooled down before it was it was before the uh, cavity is also the mold is filled up by the molten liquid. So this must this speed must be an optimum speed and it so the gear choosing the gear ratio will will take into consideration of this speed. And the output force I set uh, and the short here, the the moment arm here, all is to be considered in the first consideration. And this moment arm also take into consideration is this length, and it will give out the enough force here to make pressure on heat. Uh, the injection force for the molten material is different from different type of material. For example, ABS have on uh, uh, is have uh, ABS material has low viscosity during uh, in molten state, while the PP material has high viscosity in the molten state so ABS will need have more ejection force all this needs to be taken into account and I will talk about it in a in another videos I have a excel table to write down those parameters and and after uh, testing I test it for the force and also check the speed and all these are settled and make this mechanism and here you can see how they they are linked together this link with the hole on the arm you can see here and here this we touch this play I need need to make it this swinging and here you can see here so this is a complete assembly and during rotation this will be rise up of course at the top it will stop and there is no automatic backward position of this this punches uh, there is another mechanism there is I use four spring to pull it down after I release this valve then this can be pressed down and now I will test the rotation of this this mechanism by connecting the the power electric electricity to it okay I connected to I will turn on it So this give enormous power for the for the hydraulic hydraulic users. And here is the sliding mechanism mechanism. You can see this 
the slide here oil is at here although it's made of aluminium it, it can be used for for such periods of time and no no fun no fill here And here I will bring to the go to the three D model. Here is the injection molding machine, and you may see it before. And this is this is the injection mold here, and. Under it is a 20 tons menu press to clamp these two more half together. This middle plate is fixed at the four screw stud there. And this lower moving plate. And here is the injection unit. And there is a strict long rod here. Nine 90 millimeter diameter and press the molten liquid out of the nozzle to, to fill up the injection mold and and this is manual press when I not use the hydraulic ones I will use manual press here to do the job and it show the working on the previous video and here I can I see this time and during the use of the electrical hydraulics there is another hy manual hydraulic here actually in theory it don't need and as I talked before mentioned before there is the force pulling spring here to pull back the the piston here after it rise up. Sometimes this force spring have not enough forces, so I need to add this manual press here to help to move this upward or to retract the punches of this hydraulic cylinder so I first hide it for more simple looking and here you can see this straight rod is pressed down by this this post here this post connect to this plate this plate is movable in upward and downward position so during this hundreds of cylinder rise up here this plate is fixed instead the whole assembly will be moved down this is this plate is movable here you can see there is pushing here or there is still tip here so when actions this cylinder actions this move down instead and press down this circle this this rod downward and the moving down motion is completed by this electrical and hydraulic motion and now let me examine the detail of this hydraulic electrical mechanism let me show some section view here the section view of this linkage rod
is linkage block press down here small punches is attached to this linkage and attached to this large circular plate and another section here you can see the sliding board here this move upward and downward and here is the hinge points on the on the this play here Here you saw the gear and crutches insertion wheel here pushing here and this large rock knot circular knot press on this spring and add the force here and also add the force on this Coming bell pulley to press on this another gear. There is abrasive lying here. This abrasive lying. I don't remember what, what I need. I, I think I used the a brown to red color fiber. Thick fibers as the abrasive material. Uh, there is two two pieces fibers yes another section this timing bell pulley a new the pulley if aluminium by my CNC machine and timing bell and another section these sections bring a gear pictures and this clutch mechanism and one more things I need to mention and the pressing for this gear and this gear to left side direction so there is a bearing play here this is pressure tip bearing actually it has two metal surface and there is steel ball there I bought this in the market so even though there is large pressure exert by this spring, there is little pressure on this direction and it runs smoothly. Other bearings are used the, the brass And here you can see this knot connect with this tip. This tip have the the, the screw flat inside, and this pieces is a screw flat. So I turn this knot tiny. This will be fixed and cannot be moved. Mm. Here another cross section view and 
the next step down here with this this actually is a metal gear uh, I took this gear from a old stand mixer it's made of I think it's made aluminum or not aluminum it's a it's die cast zinc aluminum die cast zinc aluminum material you need metal one because much power there as well this this two gear is metal gear they are brought from a uh, older stand mixer is die cast zinc material zinc material is better than aluminum or more harder so here is another section view is the linkage Here, press down this small piston near the linkage. Another section here. This hinge here. There is pushing, price pushing here. In here, so here, and that's all. Thank you for your watching, if you like the video 